I consider iPlayer to be the best video on demand service on the planet, actually. And that's because it provides um, all of the programs that the BBC is broadcast for a seven day period after broadcast. It does that on a streaming basis. You can download those programs and take it with you. It's ad free. Um, obviously, BBC content high quality, and we also make it available on over a thousand different device types. Um, just this past month, we had over 300 million downloads on iPlayer. Since its inception six years ago, um, it's, there's been over uh, 10 billion downloads, and here in the UK, it's the number one brand, and not just the number one technology or media brand, it's the number one brand above other consumer product brands or financial services brands. iPlayer is the number one brand in the UK. So the um, iPlayer is really focused on um, broadcasting, essentially on demand, what you've already seen on television. So it's really a reflection on what's on television or on radio, for that matter. And what we're doing going forward is we're bringing much more original content to iPlayer. And so you'll be able to see things first on iPlayer and then maybe on broadcast TV, or really iPlayer exclusive uh, original content for iPlayer. It also gives our creative uh, community an opportunity to uh, do different things than they would otherwise do in broadcast. They can uh, use different lengths and we can provide a uh, richer, broader palette for them to create with. So here in the UK, the BBC has proposed closing one of its linear TV channels, the youth channel, BBC Three. But BBC Three will continue to exist as a digital-only brand. This is something of a, of a first. Um, but, you know, what, how will that actually work out? Yeah. Uh, uh, to me, there's the glass half full and glass half empty. And um, I like the glass half full. Uh, version, which is BBC's the first broadcaster to go online only with one of its channels, and it'll do that um, starting in autumn 2015 with BBC Three, which is focused on a youth demographic. And um, first off, that's the demographic that has the highest propensity for consuming video online. Um, in our analysis, they over-index on iPlayer consumption already. So changing the means of transport from regular TV via satellite or, 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 or terrestrial to uh, internet provision, I don't think is going to be that big a change for them. I think what changes, though, is the creative opportunity uh, for um, commissioners and production companies. Right now, when you're creating for linear TV, you essentially have to play by the EPG, the, the programming guide, and you're creating things in 30-minute and one-hour uh, slots. Uh, because you're on iPlayer, um, they'll be able to create stories the length of you know, whatever length best tells that story. So if it's 17 minutes or 15 minutes or 35 minutes or an hour and 15 minutes, doesn't really matter because you're not a prisoner to, a, you know, a grid. And so that's going to create opportunities for people to just tell the story in the way that they want to tell it. Also, as we go more short form, it actually creates an opportunity for uh, another set of storytellers to come in and be able to create content in that way. I, I would say that the next thing is that a TV doesn't know who you are, what you do, and what you like, uh, but a computer does. And whether it's a tablet or a mobile phone or a desktop or even a connected uh, television, um, being able to gather that data based on the usage will make the BBC Three a team, the commissioning team, the scheduling team, much more savvy about what content to commission mm -hmm. and how to bring it together in a schedule and then how to offer it to you um, in a way that you'll appreciate it most. We
hear a lot about data nowadays, um, the value to advertisers of data and the value to broadcast networks. Uh, you alluded to the opportunity to better understand audiences. And it struck me that you know the BBC, cr very creative organization that often has commission programs uh, taking risks, a risk-taking organization. It, does the use of data to really understand what audience wants, audiences want kind of end up negating the risk-taking or creativity that might come from a BBC commission? Yeah, we can't let that happen. Um, uh, what the BBC does that is different from um, other, let's say, on-demand players, we create, right? So our job is to go find that interesting story and tell it in a compelling way. We're, we're the ones that others come to to then take those stories and make them available more and more. So that is our reason for, for being with respect to storytelling. Um, so that's foremost. What data does is it helps us um, understand a little bit better. Uh, maybe we make some uh, changes on the margins to lean one way or the other, but it doesn't change our core. The other thing that data does, actually, we create way more content than you as an individual can possibly consume in a week. And right now, when you go to television without the data, you just consume that content based on the way that we've scheduled it, right? Actually, um, having the data about you, uh, we can determine if there's content that you haven't seen yet that we've already produced. So it doesn't change the commissioning decision. What it does is it makes us better at matching you and your interests with content that we've already produced. So if you're watching 20 hours worth of BBC each week, which by the way is, is, is the average, can we make that 20 hour bundle better for you so you appreciate it even more. So it's, it's over the last few years during which iPlayer has boomed and taken off, it has sometimes felt like the BBC's digital strategy has been about digitally leveraging that linear content. Um, but I've seen some projects recently that suggest you're trying to commission again online only content, very creative digital content. Uh, projects like the Digital Innovation Unit and injecting video into radio. So tell us about these and what's next. Yeah, no, a a absolutely. I, I, I think that really over the last 15 years of the internet, people have been focused on being digital, using the internet as another distribution platform for the content that they've already created elsewhere, whether it be on TV, radio, or print for that matter. I think that now, the stage that we're going into is really using the internet as a creative medium onto itself. And it says, you know, uh, for me, I, I'm from the Bronx, and so I use really straightforward phrases like, can we create new stuff in new ways? And so our digital innovation uh, unit is really tasked with looking at storytelling and how do we use the internet as a medium to tell stories which then opens up the perspective uh, that hopefully leads to still compelling storytelling, but being able to do that in new and innovative uh, ways using the technology that's available. And with the, the rise of consumer uh, mobility, what does the rise of mobile suggest that that stuff needs to become shorter? Yeah. No, I, one of them is snacking, yeah. right? And so uh, one of the programs here is Match of the Day, which goes through uh, uh, sports. Well, what if you had um, Match of the Commute? If you have a 20-minute commute, can you essentially create a 20-minute version of highlights packages or what have you that you essentially, when you wake up in the morning, you're listening to news, you get on the subway, and then boom, you start watching that and it's 20 minutes long. So duration is one of them. I also think that um, uh, that phone knows so much about you and, and it knows where you are. And so imagine that you're out and about with your children, right, and you're in a park or uh, some tourist attraction, we have a tremendous amount of educational uh, information, historical information. We can, understanding 
where you are, we can bring information that's relevant to that setting and we can um, enrich that experience by bringing video assets or you know, a podcast that has to do with what you're doing or where you are at that point in time.